Hello everybody, this is D. King Bay, your book granny here with an unboxing. Oh yeah, today we got good old Aluma Crate in a nice orange box. I can't remember if this is my subscription or if it's a book I order. I don't know, I don't be knowing. This might be just a book I order because there's no kind of card or anything in it. So let me get out this plastic and then we'll look at it. Okay, I am back. Here we go. It is Until We Shatter by Kate Dillon. Isn't this pretty? This is pretty. I hope I don't have to close. That's a pretty cover. I like this. It's simple. It's pretty. I like the colors. That's nice. But anyway, here we go. Until We Shatter. And I do not know. Of course, I'll put it on there if this is our, if my adult book or not. I will put it on there and let you know. I'm liking this colors. The edging goes really good with the color scheme. This is nice. And it does kind of look like shattered glass or something. They have some little foiling through there. Can you see it? See the little foils in there? Yeah, let me see if I can get the shine. I was trying to do the light so it wouldn't be too shiny, and I think I made it done too well this time, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's nice. It's nice, nice, nice. To the side so you can see. Kind of looks like something shattered, right? Nice. Okie dokie. There is no alternative cover on this. So I'll put you over there. Ooh, now that's a pretty book. Look at that. That is nice. Let me get close up to you. That's pretty. I like it. I like it. Nice. A little gold falling around it so it looks framed. This is beautiful. I like it. Oh, it kind of looks like a little shadow work going on over there, too. Yeah, I like it when they do that kind of stuff. And at nighttime, I guess that's the night look. It looks good. I, I'm really liking this. This is nice. I like it, y'all. I like it. Mm -hmm. And this purple looks good. Purple and gold look good together. They did a good job. Okay, let's check out the inside. So nice. Let's see. Ooh, okay. So, I'm going to tell you why I like this. You know, I usually don't like it when people just sit around. But, you know, I like found family books, you know, where you go out and find your crew and y'all go do something, get into some shenanigans or something. And this looks like it may be that kind of book. Yeah, so I'm liking this. Ooh, what she doing with that? Oh, mm. yeah. See, they not just sitting there. They plotting some mess, y'all. You know, the messier the better. I hate that minute, but that's how I am. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I didn't see that good. This was not as fun, but it's all right. It still looks good. It's pretty. Look at that back there. That is nice. I like the background on that. That's really nice. Okay, let's go inside and get to use a signature. There we go, until we shatter. Yeah, that's a nice book. No matter where she goes, Simi's life is under threat. The church would have her killed for having any magic. The Council of Shades wants her dead for not having enough. So when her mother falls ill, Simi has no choice but to turn thief. And when she's offered a job that could solve all her problems, it's impossible to resist. The catch? Simi will have to work with Chase, beautiful, dangerous, and full of secrets, to steal the powerful relic the church has hidden within a deadly realm of shadows. If she succeeds, Simi will finally be safe. But if she's caught, she risks igniting a spark that could destroy the city and everyone inside.